how to get along with your ex as a co-parent for the sake of your children. My name is Dr. Amy Botwinick with WomenMovingOn.com and this is for Divorce360.com. You have the legal papers, you got your legal divorce, a piece of paper that describes basic things about minimum child visitation, child support, how to deal with holidays, and it's all written down and very nice and very neat, but ideally you put that away in a draw, you only pull it out if worst case scenario you can't get along. If you are getting along but you have some things to iron out, few tips. First off, basically, you have to suck it up and grow up. Whatever issues you have between each other, they no longer belong in this relationship. Go get help for your stuff, your anger, and don't bring it into this new pristine relationship because you have to raise these kids together. Um, I like talking about a reality contract. That divorce agreement, Legal agreement is fine, but how do we sit down at a table with each other and do a reality contract for the day in, day out so that we can be more on the same page? For instance, if you can agree with each other to do a weekly check-in, whether it's by phone or by email, email that doesn't have capital letters in it, that is just all about the kids and what's going on in school with their work, their homework schedules, what games they have that weekend, if there's any issues or any problems. If you can also get on a reality contract about trying to keep certain things the same for the child. Because when they're going from house to house, they have two different parents, two different parenting styles. So the environments are really different and it's hard for kids. But if you can keep certain things the same, like the bedtime rituals and the waking up times and when they do their homework and what consequences make sense for bad behavior, at least there's some consistency and some respect for the family, the new adopted family. So those are some things that you can do. And being flexible with the other person. If there's a weekend where it's that person's, uh, the father's weekend, but he's got to go somewhere, you know, try and accommodate because there's going to be a time when you need that favor. So try to work with each other because what comes around goes around. And never, ever talk badly about the other parent. Just don't do it. It's going to come back and backfire on you because if you talk badly about the parent, it's almost like you're talking bad about your child because that child is part of that other parent. It's just no good. So it's one of the hardest things that you're going to have to do and, you know, talk about a challenge to be able to get along with somebody that you got divorced from. But you have this child, so you're going to be attached by the hip for quite some time. And for the sake of that child, you have to really step out of your box and learn how to operate in a different way. So try the reality contract, do the weekly check-ins, and most importantly, be respectful of that other parent, you know, that other person as a co-parent. You may have some other issues that are separate, but create a clean, safe environment so you two can communicate as best you can so that you can raise this beautiful children or child together. My name is Dr. Amy Botwinick. This is for WomenMovingOn.com and Divorce360.com.